Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Bruce, from Radical X Games, bringing you a new Top 5 Countdown. Now, this is going to be my Top 5 Favorite Jump Scares in Video Games. Now, these are now this list compromises from jump scares that we see that you've seen on YouTube, also jump scares that you have not seen, such as Outlast or Resident Evil, stuff like that. Stuff or just some it's all around my favorite jump scares. And you can check them out too if you want. I put the games along with the numbers that they're on. So let's jump get on with this jump scary top five countdown. Top 5 Favorite Jump Scares Number 5 Freefall Silent Hill 2 Okay, so this one was definitely on my channel. It was when playing the Silent Hills 2 series and I came across, or we had just gotten out of the hospital. We were running down, I'm running down the hall, the, the streets of Silent Hill and suddenly out of nowhere, freaking one of the monster demon that I still don't know what they are comes down from one of the ceiling and from the skyscraper falls right down, scared the hell out of me. And the thing that makes it scary is because it, you know it's a threat also because it gets right back up. So it it's it's not expecting that. It's not a, the it's not expecting such a thing to happen. You know. It's really no other way to explain it, but you just, you see, every uh, jump scares are just such a huge part of video games, and in a game like Silent Hill, there aren't many of them, so you don't, like, expect this jump scare to really happen more often in the game, especially in this one, it's just something that doesn't happen often, you know? Sure, like, there are uh, some other jump scares, such as when you get the flashlight from the room in the apartment, and yeah, that's, it scares you, but that you don't really expect it after playing hours upon hours of gameplay. You expect kind of like the same slow-paced game that you've been playing. But no, Silent Hill 2 definitely brought another jump scare into it from, well, the free fall that I call, or that I call it. But that's my number five. Silent Hill 2, Freefall. Number 4, It's Me, Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, Five Nights at Freddy's, obviously a scary game. And obviously on my channel, which you can check out the final episode now, which is online, or on my channel, you can check it out down below. And it was such a fun game, and I know a lot of people would probably say that either Bonnie or Foxy or Freddy or Chico with the scariest parts. But it's something that you expect. You expect that to happen. However, for my experience, what I encountered a lot and wasn't expecting was It's Me. The It's Me screen. That scared me more because I didn't know what was going on. It's just a random moment that is programmed into the game. And, no, like, I've, I've just checked it out and... Apparently, that doesn't happen on most video or most gameplays when people play it. For me, however, it came up three times while playing that game series. Came up in night one, night two, and night three in a row. And that doesn't happen often from what I've seen and from what I've heard as well. These are randomly timed events that just happen. You just. You're lucky because it happened to you, I guess. If you want to count that as lucky. But, also... But, it, it was one of the scariest parts for me because I wasn't expecting it. The most I was expecting was some animatronic to jump out at me, not a black screen saying, It's me, and showing pictures of Freddy and Bonnie. No, not what I was expecting at all, and not what I wanted in my face at the time, especially with the sounds it was producing in it. So, that's why it's scary, but it's not number one. So, at number four, Five Nights at Freddy's, it's me. Number three, Zombie Dog, Resident Evil. Okay, the Zombie Dog. Now, you might be wondering which Zombie Dog I'm talking about. 
Well, I'm talking, or you might even know even which one I'm talking about if you played Resident Evil. There's a hallway that you go down numerous amounts of times in the game. Now, as you're playing, it kind of has a strange camera angle. And you're not really expecting anything from it. However, there is a time when walking down that hallway, a dog crashes through the window and attacks you right on the spot. And it's something you're not expecting, really. You're not expecting anything to happen because it lures you into a false sense of security. And by doing or how it does that, it has you go through that hallway multiple times through the game. And then one time out of the blue, scares you. And a lot of jump scares, a lot of the best jump scares are done like that. Those are sometimes, those are some of the best jump scares in my book. When you're not expecting them and you're led into a false sense of security. Those are the best jump scares you could get in any sort of game that I've played or that I will ever play. So, game developers, if you're watching this, false sense of security. Very good. It's very, that's how you get people. That's how you do it. So, and Resident Evil was one of the first survival horror games, so they kind of wrote the book for a lot of the horrors, the, well, scary things we see in video games now. So, with that being said, number three, Resident Evil with the zombie dog. Number two, Hangman, Outlast. Okay, so number two, the Hangman from Outlast. If you don't know what the Hangman is, or because I went and randomly named these games, or named these jump scares, the Hangman was the very first jump scare that you get in Outlast. It's, as you're walking down the hallway, you open a door, and as soon as you open the door, someone drops down from the ceiling, hanging by a note, by a rope. And it's one of the scariest parts because, well, it's the first jump scare you encounter. It's extremely loud if you're using headphones. And just all around, it was it was a really good jump scare. And I'd seen Markiplier play it. I've seen, like, the React channel go and do a series on it. And even seeing it, like, just playing it, it still scares you really badly. And... I remember, I can, I'm gonna reenact it too. I was up front, playing, and then as, as it came down, I was back here, freaking out. I had to catch my breath and everything, I jumped so bad, and I had people watching, I had people watching me here at the house, and it was just, it was quite an experience for them to see me freak out from a video game as well as myself for being scared by something I knew was gonna happen but still it was it's a great jump scare and Red Barrel did such a good job with that game um, I can't wait because they, they've announced Outlast 2 is coming out and I cannot wait for that it's gonna be so fun I can't wait to play it and so number two Outlast with the hangman number one the vents essence from Gary's mod Okay, number one, you know you've seen, or oh, you might have seen it. If you haven't seen it, check the video out. It's such a good video. I get pissed off in it, and I act like a bitch. But before I act like a bitch and get pissed off, I encounter one of the scariest jump scares I have ever encountered. A, a jump scare that actually made me extremely nervous to turn every corner from that from then on out in fact it it caused me to just I actually took off my headphones in the second part of the game because I remembered this scene and I just couldn't I couldn't take another jump scare like it and honestly I was glad I didn't have to suffer through any more jump scares after that because I'm a bitch like that but it was such a good map and honestly it's it sets the bar for other Gary's mod maps in my book now. Such uh, I've just recently played the game Abandoned, which I was a great Gary's mod. It really was. It was great Gary's ma mod map. Uh, and however, I feel Essence sets the bar 
really high, and I'm so glad I played it. I'm so glad I'm going to start doing Gary's Mod Horror Maps now, and I'm very glad that I went through this this level so I could make a countdown for jump scares. And like I was saying, though, there, okay, now let's describe what happened. As you saw, I was playing, and as I went through the vent, took a turn. There was it was a black mass that just popped up, screeching at you, and it was such a bad, it was such an evil jump scare. I was in I was in my second recording room, which is the farthest room from everyone in the house. Now, when that happened. Everyone in the house heard me, and I'm pretty sure some neighbors heard me, and were wondering what the fuck, what the hell was going on. And it was just such a, it was, I was so scared. I've never jumped that bad from a horror game, and it's still pretty early in my YouTubing, in my YouTubing days, and I'm sure there will be many more to come from these Gary's Mod horror maps, and also from other games and just those this one in particular though it sets the bar for jump scares I, I'm not even sure why it was the scariest one like it just it scared me so bad though and I'm pretty sure it had something to do with the atmosphere it had something to do with being an event something about being an event you think you're safe however that's a complete wrong answer you're not safe in the vents, as you see in Essence. So, with that all being said, that's my, that's the end of my countdown. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry it took me so long to get this out to you guys. And I'm making up to I'm making up to you guys by publishing two two countdowns this Saturday or today or for Saturday, which is today, and two reviews for Sunday, which is well, tomorrow. I decided to be Easter Sunday friendly and put videos up on it. So, um, Sunday is my last day that I'm doing videos for two weeks. I'm taking a two week vacation. And so, with that all being said, check out my other top five, my top five countdown, which is top five jerks in video games. Also, check out my reviews, which my reviews are going to consist of... Destroy All Humans 1, I'm flipping you off from, from under my knuckles. And also, Destroy All Humans... Did I say Destroy All Humans 1? I oh, know, okay. Destroy All Humans 1 and Battlefront 1. Oh my god. Okay. It's still very early, and I got a lot I gotta do today, so... With that all being said, stay radical, my radicals. See ya!